In this video, I'm going to try a new collection of gel polishes from one of my favorite brands, Saviland, and they also sent me some cool products that include UV protective gloves for the lamp and LED lamp. I like that it's white and so small because it's always going to look tidy and you won't be able to see any dust on it. Also, when you turn it on, it gives pink light, which I think is kind of cool. We're also going to do some pastel dreamy designs, so it's going to be fun. Let's get started. Hello guys, let's start with unpacking and we have gel polish nail kit that includes 32 colors of gel polishes as well as instructions, three nail art brushes and stickers with flowers. Let's take a closer look to the jar. It's 10 milliliters, which in my opinion is the perfect size and the brush is regular size. It also includes non-acid pH bond, base coat, glossy top coat and matte top coat. It's really nice that they included them all in the kit because you always need these essentials. The base coat has thin consistency and glossy top coat is medium thick. Let's take a look at LED lamp. It's very compact and really light, but at the same time it's 36 watts, which means you can use it for curing gels and gel polishes and you will have enough power to do this. Let's connect it to the cord and I will show you my favorite part. Look at this color, it's like Barbie pink color. It has four different modes, 30, 60 and 90 seconds, as well as painless mode, which is perfect for sensitive clients. They also have protective gloves that are SPF and you or your clients can use it to protect them from the UV. So it's UPF 80 plus. We have some instructions on how to use them, how to take care of them, and they are very stretchy, so I think they will be suitable for different sizes. I tried it on and this is how you use it. First you need to put it on and then you cure gels or gel polishes. Let's take a look at the colors now. Most colors have a great coverage with just one coat, but the ones that include glitter will need at least two coats. Matte top coat looks like satin, which is so awesome, and this is the glossy top coat. This collection includes 32 colors, so it's huge. Mostly pastel and cute colors, as well as five glitter colors. White and nude, one of the most used colors in the nail industry, and a classic red and Barbie pink. Once I finished doing the swatches, I had an idea in my mind of some dreamy design that we're about to do today. But first, we need to prep the nails of my client, and today we are doing a square shape. She has some length of her natural nails, they look gorgeous, so this design will be a perfect fit. I always start with a dry manicure, I'm using diamond flame shaped bit with a red abrasive mark, and the speed is about 16,000 rotations per minute. Then we need to take off the surface shine and if we have some old product leftovers, I'm also going to do that with 180 grit buffer. Make sure that you file the nail underneath as well because if you've been filing the shape, there might be something left underneath the nail and finish the manicure with the scissors. Now I'm going to use non-acid pH bond primer which is included in the kit and apply it on the nail to provide a better adhesion. You only need to apply a thin layer and it will look a little sticky, that's totally fine. You do not need to wait until it evaporates because it's going to stay on the nail like some sticky substance. Try not to touch the skin when applying this and make sure that you do not leave any empty spots on the nail. It works like a primer, so you do not need to cure it in LED lamp. Simply apply it and then continue. And the next step will be applying base coat. It's called foundation gel and also included in this kit. 
we need a very thin coat and since it has this thin consistency it's super easy to do that then we need to repeat the same without touching the skin apply a thin coat make sure that you do not leave any empty spots along the sidewalls and then we can add some more to build the structure of the nail because my client has such a beautiful long nail beds we just want to make sure that we protect them well enough here is a foundation gel for 60 seconds and then i'm going to apply the colors for this design we are going to use different colors on some nails we will have mint color on the pinky working with this kind of consistency medium thick is such a pleasure because it's so easy to apply and it technically self levels by itself also, it's pretty easy to create this perfect crisp line near the cuticle because it's not too runny, so it's not going to flood it. On two nails, we're going to use nude background because we need some color underneath. And on top of it, we're going to do some nail art. Nude, light and pastel colors sometimes are very tricky because once you try to apply them on the nail, you can always see these brush strokes. So I think it's much easier to work with these colors when they have a thicker consistency. Sometimes I use detail a brush to get closer to the corners or to the cuticle. I recommend you to use the same trick when you need to get closer to the skin and you do not need to take an additional product on the brush. You can use the gel polish that is already on the nail. I also like the brushes that are in these gel polishes. They have a nice size, which is suitable for most clients' nails. I mean, it will be suitable for medium and long nails as well. And it's also pretty easy to apply it near the cuticle. When you have so many nice colors within one collection, you want to use as much colors as possible. So we are doing the lilac color on the index finger and light sky blue on the thumb. As I was applying these colors, I realized that due to their consistency and coverage, they're going to work so well for nail art. So let's try it right now. Since we have so many nice colors, we need to use all of them. So I'm going to use a different shade to create a dreamy rainbow. It's not going to be the exact traditional colors of rainbow, more like a pastel version of it. But I think these colors are going to look so great together. So I put them on on the paper first, so it will be more convenient for me to work with them. And then I start applying each color one by one. I'm going to do two rainbows on two nails, so I just take one color and add two lines on each, then I proceed to the next one and so on. You don't need to fully cure each color all the time, it's enough to flash cure it for like 5 seconds just to make sure it's not going to move and it's not going to mix with the next color and then you simply proceed. And then we cure it for 1 minute in LED. This is white color that is also included in this kit, so let's add some stars. First, you need to add a large size dots, and then without taking an additional product with a dry brush, create a line that goes up and another one will go down. But it's important you always need to create the line from the center to the side then create the lines that go to the right and to the left. And this is how we have this perfect dreamy stars. And then I will add some smaller dots to complete the look. At first I was a little worried if we would have enough space on her nails to do this design because maybe we should have done it on nail extensions, but now I think they look perfect. And then we do the same on the opposite hand, simply add some dots and then with a dry brush by using the product from the dot create these small stars as well as the small dots so they're going to look like a dreamy galaxy since Evelyn gel polishes has a very good coverage you do not need to use a lot of product to add the color even for the rainbow as you can see we did not really add too much volume then we cure it for one minute in LED and since my client loves smooth nails without any 3D objects on them, I'm going to apply 
a little more top coat than usual on these two nails to make sure that the surface is going to be smooth and she will not feel anything. Then we cure for 60 seconds and the glossy design with a dreamy rainbow is finished. Let me know what you think, the link to this kit will be in my description as usual. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post nail art tutorials and product reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye!